All right, people, so I want to talk about Brock Lesnar uh, returning to the UFC here. So, um, yeah, it came out like a week ago, you know, he's going to return. Uh, and it really baffles me that he's going to return a year after, or, or just over a year after he said he was go he was retired from the UFC, he was done fighting. Like, what? <laughs> you know, it's just, a lot of people do this. They say, oh, I'm retired. You know, I'm not, I'm retired, I'm done. And then they, then they come back like a year fucking later. You know, Terry Funk did that. You know, the whole Beyond the Mat uh, uh, movie there was, or a big part of it was about Terry Funk retiring. And then he comes back and he's like still wrestling to this day, I think. Or at least, j just recently at least, he's still fucking wrestling at like age fucking 70 or whatever the fuck. You know, so it's it just... <laughs> You know, I hate when people retire and then they come. You know, if you have doubts that you're, you're, you're going to come back, say, you know, I'm done for now, but maybe in the future I'll leave a door open. But don't fuck. I hate people. Oh, I'm, I'm retired. I'm retired. I'm done. You know, if, if you're done for now, but, you know, maybe in the future you want to come back, just say it. You know, it's like I hate people that do that. But And then the other thing I don't get is, you know, WWE, WWE doesn't let their wrestlers wrestle for other promotions. So why is Brock Lesnar being allowed to fight for the UFC while he's under WWE contract and he's probably going to be wrestling at SummerSlam? So why does he get an except, exception? I'm not blaming blaming Brock Lesnar here. If uh, you know he can get out of it, I mean, that's good for him. I mean, he could get out of it. But, but WWE should not have a double standard for their wrestlers, really. You know, if they're not, not going to let other people do their other shit, you know, then why let Brock Lesnar go off on his own? It's just, uh, it's just confusing to me. But you, you know, I am happy to see Brock. You know, in the UFC once again. I, I'm not a UFC fan, but I think it'll be cool to see him fight there in the UFC. Um, because I've never, I've never really watched his fights, and now I'm more of a fan of his than ever since he's in the WWE, and I like him. I think he's talented. So that might be a pay per view I might be ordering. I don't know, though, but it's definitely an exciting thing. You know, when I first saw it, I'm like, oh, that's some cool shit. You know, he's he's back in the UFC for one more fight. So that it'll be cool to see what happens with this fight and shit and if he's going to be, you know, fighting more fights. But, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But it's definitely an exciting thing to happen. But at the same time, you got to point to certain things that just don't add up, like him saying he's done with the UFC. I believe he said, oh, I'm retired. And then, again, the double standard of the WWE here. So, um, But it is what it is. I mean, I'm excited to see him, you know, do what he has to do in UFC, whatever. The thing is, like, UFC is, like, one month away from fucking SummerSlam, I believe. So if he, like, gets a concussion or something and he's out he's out for SummerSlam, then he's fucked. You know, that, that's the thing. But, you know, hopefully all goes well and shit and, um... And we'll see what happens with him coming back. Uh, like, like I said, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit up here and say, "Oh, I'm a huge UFC fan," because I have not watched one pay per view really. So, um, but I might, maybe I will get this one. Probably, maybe I don't know, maybe, maybe, but um, it is a lot of money. But um, we'll see what happens with Brock and in, in, in whatever. But you know, he did have the diverticulitis when he was in was when he was in the UFC the first time. So I guess you could say this is a full first time he's kind of healthy. He is what thirty eight years old. So um, you know, who knows? He's he's probably out of his prime age wise, but he is healthy. So, and then the other thing I don't get about CM Punk again lies. CM Punk said he was going to debut. I think he said the end of 2015 he was going to debut. I heard he got a little bit of, bit of an injury. But to, now he's not going to fucking fight until like August or some shit like that. What the fuck? Again, another fucking lie. He, he's delayed his fucking um, debut of the UFC for like a, almost a year. For some fucking minor back injury. He got, I heard he got some minor fucking injury. A little back injury. I, I get if you get injured you can't fucking debut at the time you want to. But I mean to delay it like almost a year. Uh, that, that's fucking unacceptable. It's like they just keep pushing it fucking back. It's again, it's like lies. People, you know, say one thing and then they do another. Like Brock, oh, I'm gonna retire. I'm done. I'm done. Oh no, I'm gonna return now. It's like what the fuck? It's like you can't trust anybody now when they say they're retired because you never fucking know with sports nowadays. But there you go, people. There's my thoughts on Brock Lesnar returning.